Hey folks, I was down at the Secret River today and I went back down to that waterfall. I didn't get out last week. Uh, I had family here and, well, I've still got family here. And uh, I, things going on with my quail. Uh, you'll see one later. But uh, yes, the river gods were good to me. And uh, I'll get a look at what I got. Incidentally, I'd like to thank guys who have subscribed. And I really do enjoy your comments and thank you for your support. So um, if there's anything you want to see or anything with videos that I could change that and make them better for you should they be longer should they be shorter you know what I mean and if there's any questions or anything like that please uh, let me know I'm free to answer anything that I can answer and remember it's nice to be nice that guy's called Lucky Nugget he hatched eight days after the first two that hatched although other th the first two were three days early so in theory he's four days late I uh, had some problems with incubator and his toes are a little bit curly due to humidity problems. Let's hope he survives. Brings me some luck on the river today. Well guys, back to the secret river. See if I can get to the bottom of this uh, here. Uh, I did notice last time I was here, three weeks ago. I didn't get out last week but there's a crack here. So I've got some crevicing tools I'm just going to clean along that and panic see if there's anything there. My dam's gone. We had uh, quite a lot of heavy rain, so I've blown that away. But that won't take long to rebuild. And it's just before 12 o'clock. I had a, an early lunch, early bacon, egg, beans, and fry up. Beans, what not being a good idea, wearing uh, full chest uh, waders. We will see. Six or seven little specks. Little dough for the first pan. Get sluice set up. And get sluice set up and get into it. Hopefully that should produce. Maybe that, I don't get that far. Don't know how long I'm staying. Don't know what weather's gonna do. So guys, as usual, first two buckets. There's a few pieces in box. I'm going to spot probably about seven, I think. Seven and probably a little bit more than seven. Yeah, there's a couple more up there. If anybody's interested in the uh, minerals here, obviously the quartz. Got iron in it, more quartz. That's quartz. Looks like a conglomerate. Some people might know better than me. Well, I'm sure they do. Any ideas on that? What is it? You know, quartz and. <laughs> I didn't expect a lot, reason being is, like I said, we've had a lot of rain, so I'm probably just cleaning where I'm cleaned here. I'm cleaning up uh, stuff that's come down fresh. There's gold in that bottom bit. Um, I'm going to keep digging that out there. I think it steps up then. But I'll keep digging that out there and then I'll pump it because, as you can see, this is hard packed clay. I didn't bring my brush again. Fool. I dug along that first dip because then it drops off again here. Uh, I think it was worth me while. This is my first 10 buckets. Let's 
parte. There's another knock back bit there, I think. Quite a few finds. Maybe about 30 pieces, I think. But then again, it's not bad for a river with no gold. So guys, I lot 14 through again. Now, I could stay, well I am going to stay a little bit longer. And I've just took a couple of test pans from there and there. Found two tiny little specks. There weren't a lot in uh, last four buckets into actual um, SA map. So, I've got, well, I could spend another day here. I will come down and clear this up just because <laughs> there's still likely to be gold in it. But, while I'm here, now, because if there is no gold in it, I need somewhere else to dig. Uh, remember, there's a fish there. I don't know if you remember, a couple of times ago when I came down, I'll buy this rock, and there's another drop. And I think what I'll do is just do a little test out of it, put it down to the bottom. And then, I have done some digging on that corner, but I didn't dig it all. But what I'll do, is have a little test here, if I can find it again. Down to bedrock and see what's in that, if anything. And there is a little spot here, as I said, I could spend another day down here anyway, which I prefer not to just dig it all. <laughs> but that there, I left that for some reason when I went up here. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's some bits in there. I I might just run a pan out of that for fun. So, that's that pan. There's four pieces in that. You can see anybody one there. I floated them away. There's three there, and the bigger piece there, look. So, it's about half past three. Now, the reason I don't want to stay late, because I've got to download this and edit it. But I know, if I dig there, I'll get a couple of buckets of three out of there. I'm just going to do a test pan up there, like I said, see what's up that. And uh, hopefully I'll have a good, a full, well, four or five hours next week, or next chance I get. pan from up there near that rock. That's really loose and sandy. That's really hard packed. It's different. Where it's hard packed, it's more likely to be gold. That's loose and I have done some digging up there so I might have, might have been down to me that but here it's still hard packed. There's a couple of spots where I will test next time or where I will work. I'll probably get two or three buckets out of there and if they're all as good as that pan I'll be very pleased. Um, and I've tested pretty much, yeah, down down here. I've, I've worked about know, three or four hundred meters, but it don't go much further to Main River. So there is a couple of spots further down which I haven't tested, which I'd like to test, and there's a few more spots further up which I'd like to test. But as I said, I've left myself another day here. I'm not sure whether there'll be anything in that because it comes off a curve and as I said most of gold or best of gold I found more, more in the middle as it crossed and went back down along that wall I've been all the way along that wall <laughs> so there's nothing there clean that out and we'll have a look
So, top mat. Pleasant surprise. I didn't see that one in there. That's got to be five millimetre. It's got a bit of thickness and all, I can feel it. I won't stick to my finger because my fingers are wet. Could make a sound. No. <laughs> Not that thick, but nice. Probably one of the biggest pieces I've had out of this river. Let's have a look what's in carpet. I don't expect this to be a lot in carpet. Reason being is I was surprised last time I were here, but I'm running this at sort of optimum optimum speed, so most of the stuff's catching in mat anyway. But chuffed at that. I will do more work in there. So like I said, didn't expect a lot. There's probably 20 20 really fine stuff there. I'll take it anyway. Anything else that's left in that bucket, I'm going to give it back to the river gods. They've been kind to me. So guys, that's the take. My lucky coil came through, the nugget. Plus that one. It's got a sound. Nice. It's actually not quite five millimetre, four and a half millimetre. But still, lovely.